At one point, you had a heart attack. And uh, I never realized how bad it actually got. You know, because people have slight heart attacks, but you do not have a slight heart attack. No. You actually woke up with tubes and, and the whole nine. Well, I guess you had actually flatlined three times? Three times. So you died. Three times. Three times. When you woke up, how'd you feel? I didn't know that I died. I mean, the um, I woke up with that tube in your throat, mm -hmm. and I ripped it out. Oh. And I fucked up my larynx. Oh. Permanently? Yeah, that's why my voice is... Okay. Where you, it goes uh, up and down. Yeah. Um, and I have this stupid cough that just because of... But, yeah, I mean... I'm still dealing with the heart attack. I was supposed to, um, the whole month in November, I thought I was going to have to go for open heart surgery. Yeah. And knock on wood that they found my heart's getting enough blood um, because the artery that I had the heart attack in is 100% dead. Yeah. How old were you at the time? When you 50, 51. 51. Okay. And you were heavier back then? Much heavier. Much heavier. Like how much weight have you lost since then? 40. 40 pounds. I remember you had even told me. I remember you and I had a conversation. I guess you had like eating some lamb chops or something earlier in the day or. Yeah. I had, um, my dad just got out of the hospital with heart. He had a open heart surgery. Hmm. And um, they were living in my house. I gave them my house and I was living in my ex-wife's guest house. Hmm. It was Christmas Eve. And uh, me and my daughter went to have dinner with my parents at my house. And I had a whole bunch of lamb chops. And then we were playing basketball um, at my ex-wife's house. And the, yeah. rest, and the rest is history. Nobody, yeah, no. nobody believed me until I guess the hospital called them. Yeah, no, I mean, it's scary. Like you and I were talking before, like, like I had high blood pressure. I, I went to go see a cardiologist. My man, Sean Prez, put me up on that. He was like, yo, you mm -hmm. should probably see a cardiologist. And he put me on Crestor and was like, yo, like if you would have kept this on, you would have probably had a heart attack. You know what I mean? And then that, that's what caused me to lose 25 pounds and go to a, you know, I mean, I don't, I'm not fully vegetarian, but I went mm -hmm. more vegetarian because that's what he said. He's like, yo, go vegetarian, take these pills every day, and it'll, it'll if be I showed better. you my bathroom, how many pills I got to take. Yeah. I got to take um, two blood pressure pills. I got to take a um, cholesterol pill. I got to take um, something for acid reflux for all the pills that I take. An antidepressant pill. Really? Yeah. Heart attacks are real, man. And that that's really the leading cause of death for middle-aged men. Yeah. Pretty much. You know what I mean? He's like, and, and usually, you know, I talked to my cardiologist about this. Usually, most men deal with it after the fact, after the heart attack. He's like, you know, he was telling me how lucky I was that I'm actually yeah. dealing with it beforehand. So, if I went to the doctor. You would have known. I, I would have known. But you never went. And you had health insurance and everything else like that. There's yeah, really no just, reason. I was just scared. Just scared. Yeah. I, I remember when um, uh, I was at SRC with you, uh, you started seeing Sanal Lathan. <laughs> and uh, it turned into this whole kind of media circus and got into TMZ and, and everything else like that. Um, was that rough? Because you're not the, the front page guy. You're the behind the scenes guy. And suddenly you're at your front page. Yeah. I, I think it was um I think it was rough on both of us. Um I wasn't used to it and I wasn't used to looking at comments and seeing like like and I didn't understand why it was such a big deal. Right, because you were you were separated at the time. Yeah. No, I'm not even talking about that. We were definitely separated. Yeah. But I'm talking about like who really gave a shit about who who I who I was dating? Right. But here you are now in the middle of all. I remember you even reached out to me. He's like, "Yo, Vlad, like, what, what could we do about this?" And I'm like, "I don't know. We could do an interview. We could, you know, what I mean, like, but I, 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 I was it. But I didn't, didn't want to do interviews. You just wanted just to go away. You know, what I mean, I think I think Russell Simmons spoke out on your behalf. I think Russell did, and I called Fifty. Oh, Fifty spoke out as well. Yeah. Um, was that a rough time? I mean, dealing with that? 
Yeah, I, I, I woke up one day and um, like I forget, I forget which blog it was, but it was like Steve Rifkin and Sonata Lathan living together, right? And it was on like I'm like, where the fuck did this come from? Because we, you know, she's she likes to keep it quiet. Yeah. I, I like to keep it quiet, and somebody and I had no idea. If it came from my camp, her camp, you know, whatever. Then, you know, three months later or four months later, or who knows, like, then another blog said we were married, and I was just like, I'm not even fucking fully divorced yet. Yeah. Right, because then there's the whole home record thing. Yeah. Started, she wasn't like, a home record. No, she wasn't. No, I she mean, wasn't. how are my ex-wife are friends? Yeah, so, so now Lathan and your ex-wife are actually friends. That's amazing. That's actually amazing. Are you and Sana still still a thing or? No. No. Is that I'm, I'm proud of her though. I mean, she's directing a movie now. She's in Atlanta. Uh -huh. I mean, we still talk all the time. She never had kids. Not that I know of. Yeah. You guys ever talk about that? Um, not really. Not really. I already have my kids. <laughs>